Now let's talk about credit memos issued to us from our vendors. To demonstrate this, let's pull up a vendor ledger for one of our vendors. Let's scroll down here and let's look at Southern Garden Wholesale. Let's change this date range to all, and we can see our activity with them. Here we have a purchase and a payment, and here we have a couple of purchases. Let's look at this one. Let's drill down on it and see that we bought 15 fertilizer pump sprayers. Five of these didn't work, and so we're sending them back. Southern Garden Wholesale issued us a credit memo. Let's record that credit memo. So we want to remember what the inventory item ID is, which is EQFF-13100. Let's click on New, and let's start by pulling in Southern Garden. They issued us a credit memo, number 756. They issued it on March 15th. We're going to come here to Apply to Purchases, and we're going to record that credit memo as a negative five units of E Q F F thirteen one hundred. You can see that Peachtree carried the amount over. Seventy nine ninety five is our credit. Now we simply save this credit memo. Now let's look at their vendor ledger report. Now we can see a credit memo in here reducing our balance due by $79.95. Now let's go in and apply that credit memo to our next payment. Tasks, Payments. Let's pull in Southern Garden and we want to pay this invoice, the discount is not applicable, and we want to take advantage of this credit memo. So our balance due after returning the five defective units is $159.90. Let's put our next check number, and we're ready to print this check. And here on the stub, you can see that we paid this invoice and took advantage of this credit memo for a balance of 159.90.